Who are you? What are you doing here? My name is Tom Hansen. I'm a f I think you and I are linked, Hansen. We will both make it through this, or neither of us will. I vote for both. I don't think you have a choice. Hey guys, and welcome back to Cold Fear. When we last left off, uh, we just found Anna, who is uh, the chief researcher's daughter. Um, she seems to be very distrusting of us, which is fair. And uh, Hansen here seems to be quite content in keeping her alive. Apparently she has answers for us, but we can't... Um, well, she has a different opinion. She says she knows nothing. So, uh, I guess we're going to get out of here together and see what happens. Also, the game has changed its behavior. I don't know why. Uh, all of a sudden, we are playing at 144 hertz. <laughs> Uh, and the game feels visibly, I don't want to say smoother because obviously higher frame rate smoother, blah, blah, blah. But there was some weird choppiness to it before. Obviously we was playing above 60 FPS, so there shouldn't have been any choppiness because that feels nice and smooth. But yeah, um, I don't know what's happening. It, it's definitely seeming okay now. I wonder if we're going to get the weird bug with the weapons not shooting and stuff. There was like some input delay is what I'm trying to say before. Right, let's go. Hansen, I've got an idea on the girl. She's Viktor Kamsky's daughter. It is vital that you keep her alive. Yes, I'm a scientist. So? I'm telling you that she's valuable. Guard her with your life. I'll keep her alive. You'd better. If she dies, <laughs> it's all If over. she dies, we're not even going to bother saving you. Well, thanks, jackass. Right, babysitting mission. Oh, fuck. Just what I like. Bit of babysitting. Uh, yeah, do you mind not, like, walking in the way of my, my gun? I'm just saying. Okay, Anna. Don't walk in the way of my bullets. Bad stuff is likely to happen. Yeah, guys. Um, the game is... Oh, oh shit. No, the armory. We fucked the armory. Ah, oh, that sucks. Yeah, the the game is feeling and playing nicer. I don't know what what was. Oh shit, she's off. You yeah, remember the stuff about staying behind me, the man with a gun. Come on, Anna. This isn't rocket science, girl. Yeah, okay. There must have been some weird bug going on because this game is feeling really nice now. <laughs> Weird. Okay. Let's keep going. Hey, Frosty Marines! Oh, I wonder if we can go into the captain's quarters yet. Hey, Anna, have you got any keys on you, per chance? Locked. I guess not. Right, back that way, Anna. like your hair, by the way. Oh, you are kidding me. Okay. She was, like, cock-blocking us then. Right, where are we going? Oh, the way everything draws in is really nice. Um, right. Objects, documents. Uh, also, uh, I did forget the fact that I actually do have the manual for this game. Because I have the PlayStation 2 version. And it goes over all the enemies. And would you guess what's in the back of the manual, guys? If you guessed um, a map, you'd be right. There's absolutely a map in the back of the manual. Um, to the radio room. Okay. Oh, that's not even that far away. <clears throat> right. Behind me, Anna. I have a gun. I somewhat know how to use it. Alright. Here we go. Uh, do we want to save already? I mean, yeah. We only encountered, what, two enemies. Here's the radio room. Good. We can call the drilling platform my father works on. Star of Sakhalin, can you hear me? Anna, is that you? Kavel, what's happening? Where is my father? I'm sorry, he is missing. And this place. Don't come back, Anna. It's too dangerous. Hush, I am coming back and I'm bringing help. Then I will try to hold out until you return. That's Vidania. We can't turn the ship. The autopilot is locked. Then unlock it. Good idea. I'll go find Lebanon. <laughs> you stay here. Lock the doors. <laughs> and here, put this on. What is it? It's a radio. It will let us keep in touch. Just wipe it off first. 
<laughs> we can't. <laughs> okay, Hanson, what? here's the plan. You find the codes you need to unlock the autopilot. Point that thing at the oil rig Anna's talking about and get her father out of there. If we turn this thing broadside to the storm, the waves are gonna swamp us. Then turn it fast. Your Coast Guard and her dad needs a rescue. Uh, a rescue it. Do you ever feel like you're underappreciated and underpaid? Uh we can't turn this thing around, it's locked. Then unlock it. Okay. Right, sure. Fine, good. Uh, now, if I was going to... Oh, fuck my ass, guys. 144 frames. Feels so nice. Um, find the autopilot unlocking code. Oh, good. Captain Lebensky has unlocked himself in a cold room. There is a couple downstairs. Uh, with Anna's code, I'll be able to open the other door to the rear deck. Right, so I guess we're going back to the rear deck. Uh, of course we are. Unfortunately, I am... Oh, anybody down there? So we know that's a popular spawning area. Oh, yeah, I guess something's down there. Oh, you. Come on, there we go. Off with your head, sunshine. Next! We're getting some, a lot of ammo for the AK, which is nice, actually. Right, let's have a... Oh, fucking hell. Um. Uh. Right, well, I, I'm not 100% sure why... Uh, um. Dude, you're dead. Not 100% sure why they kind of, like, just stared at us for a while. Ow, ow, my face. Please stop stabbing me in the face. Nothing again. Well, that's disappointing. Doesn't have any more ammo. Right, come on in. Hanson, let's move. Oh, this place is crawling. Switch up to the handgun. We're definitely not getting that bug with the... Uh, AK, which is really nice. So... Yeah, okay. Interesting. Uh, don't know what the hell was going on with that then. Now... Oh, fuck! I thought I could hear a dog barking down my neck. Because you, you snaky little bastard. Fuck you, son. Right. Can we... There you go. Nothing again. Damn, all these stingy... Stingy gits. Okay. Alright, slowly does it now. Yeah, I was going to say, I can hear them. I don't know how I can hear them. Ooh. A little bit off the top, sir. Oh, God. Oh, God. Uh, brace! 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 Well, that was... Sketchy. Run. Right, we're going to go that way now. That's fine. Let's get back on board. Not quite sure how much punishment this thing can take. I mean, it's, it's, it's actually like a wonder. This tub is still floating, to be honest. Oh, we have the action music. Oh, bloody hell, I hate this bit. Right. Okay, so one. Let's go. And then stop. Run. Alright, that's actually not that bad. Alright, not that bad. Apparently. Now, I think it's kind of funny the way we keep getting blood all over our shoes. I'm not really sure where all this blood is coming from. And why it's um, <laughs> leaving bloody footprints around. When there is obviously a lot of water here. Dude, come on. You can't play nice, don't play at all. Right, a little bit off the top. You won't need a haircut anytime soon, Sun Jim. Damn. I don't know what damn means. Does that mean he had nothing? Or does that mean he had loads of stuff on him? Damn, what a haul. Okay, good stuff. And why is that still burning? 
when you think about it. Oh. Oh, hello. Right. Shit. Kind of a low uh, range. Oh. Oh, look at these guys. On those explosions, but I guess that's to be expected. Really? These things are what's causing everyone so much, like, trouble? They don't seem to be that tough. Not really. Uh, right, so... What do we have here, ladies and gentlemen? Uh, a little bit off your brain, sir. Pistol ammo? Not bad. Right, what have you got for me? A note about the pumping station. Um, oh, God. Uh, no. Uh, attention maintenance crew. Maintenance work on the pumping system uh, scheduled for December 14th has been moved back to December 18th due to delays in getting replacement filters. Since the risk of flooding is increased, you are advised against storing any munitions or weapons in rooms whose doors could be blocked by pressure. Okay. Antishenko. Blocked by pressure. Alright, got ya. Well, I mean, we're gonna have a fiddle with that lever anyway. Oof, two mags. Two mags is all we have. Ah, finally. Bilge pump is finally running. Cool. That's good. It's unlocked. Ah. Oh. Uh. Okay, well that kind of worked, I guess. Good enough, I guess. Good enough. Uh, rear deck. Do we want to go back to the rear deck? Yeah, that doesn't seem like where we want to go. Do we want to go back to the rear deck? Is there another way round? Can't actually remember the layout now down here. Where does that go? Propeller shaft room. We don't. Need to go to the propeller shaft room. Yeah, so whatever bugs and glitches we had with this game do appear to have cleared up. Right, that's not where we want to go. Oh! So this place, like, recedes its enemies. That's fine. That's fine. Do we want to go through the rear deck, or do we want to go down here? I mean, I think where we need to go... Oh, look, like, the controls have kind of sorted themselves out a little bit as well. Really odd, propeller shaft room. Couldn't we uh, get there th the other way as well? Alright, we're clear. We're clear. There were some more darts there for our gun, but we never really used those. Starboard cold rooms. Yeah, we can go through here, can't we? Wait a minute. Was there a load of bodies dangling down here before? Ah. There we go. Yeah, we can get through here this way, can't we? Oh. The damn thing's stuck. Something is, um, something is breaking all of my doors, and I don't like that. Uh, fucking bastards. Right, okay. Uh, we will save. Yes. What is breaking all of my doors? I mean, come on, man. Right, I'm going to have a break here in the recording, just because um, something's going on. <laughs> I don't know why the game's running so smoothly. I need to check to see if it's recording. So, one second, guys.
The hell is going on in here? Okay, we're back. Right. So I've discovered what the performance issues are. Because uh, I just reloaded the game and it was being all squiffy again. It appears to be to do with OBS. Whoa. There we go. If I have OBS uh, on my second screen, the game runs like ass and has loads of weird issues. If I have OBS minimized, we have no issues. So, I'm not really sure what's going on with that. Yeah, I wonder why we never got a second game. Because there's a lot of potential here. Well, that's how we clean and sweep that area. Not bad. Okay. Yeah, for some reason, if OBS is uh, on my second monitor, the game seems to lock to somewhere around 60 FPS and, and just have loads of impact lag and stuff like that. So, not really sure what the hell's going on there. But if you do intend to do this game for yourself, bear that in mind. Okay, not bad. Not bad. So, why did they tie all these guys up? What were they doing? That's a bit weird. Can we add some context to some of this stuff? I need to turn the DPI on my mouse up. That's better. Yeah, cool. Alright, well, let's keep going. Right. And then, oh, hey, sir. Come on, buddy. There we go. Feel better for that? Very curious at trying this on a harder difficulty. Looks like these places have been smoked out. Oh, fuck. Seriously, man? Seriously? You just gonna jump on me like that? Well, aren't you a piece of shit? Right, unfortunately, I've lost my recording timer, so we're just gonna have to guess how long we've been recording for. A letter from Yusupov about the antidote. <clears throat> That guy, I'm just going to call Bowl of Soup. Right, um... If I remember. I am delighted to inform you that Dr. Ba Balaclava has succeeded in producing an effective antidote. Provided it is administered soon after the infestation begins. Indeed, it only works if a tendril has not reached the victim's brain. According to Dr. Bacla um, Balaclava, the antidote encourages the secretion of a particular enzyme along the spinal column that is lethal to the exocell. However, once the tendril gets into the victim's brain, the antidote is, antidote is powerless. Is that because like, the brain is scrambled? In parallel, Dr. Kamsky is researching how to limit the exocell's growth and thus block the tendril's development. Dr. Kamsky has assured me that there will be significant results in the next three months, provided he receives new specimens. Dimitri. There had to be a Dimitri. There had to be. It's the most, like, I don't want to say generic, but, you know, the most common, like, Russian name that I know of. Not that I know a lot of, of Russian names, mind. Okay, I found the captain. He's a corpsicle. Anyone got any bright ideas? Search the body. Dude, right. you're dead. Okay. Oh. Hey, buddy. Oh, come on. Really? That's no fun. Right, we've got a note here. A page about mutations. Mutation notes. One of the immediate effects of the infestation uh, by one or more exocells. By more e the more exocells? Okay. Is that the host body biological organization... Uh, and morphology begin to change to suit the parasite's needs. Subjects no longer require sleep, and their highest uh, cerebral functions are reinforced. As their flesh is gradually devoured by the exocell, their skin changes colour, and strange bulges appear, which sometimes rip the skin. Infestation also triggers major physical modifications in the host, undoubtedly to better protect the host, as their bodies become incredibly strong and resistant to damage. Similar to the mechanisms observed in cancer 
infestation entails a multiple application of cell and spectacular uh, increase in the volume of muscles. Uh, mutation effects begin almost immediately upon infection. The first clinical signs of mutation uh, mutagenic change occur within three minutes to just over two hours with the average effects occurring after 26 minutes one third of all subjects demonstrated an additional form of mutation these specimens develop tendrils mainly on the upper chest on the shoulders and in the back of the neck these tendrils appear to function independently of the body to which they are attached and have their own center of locomotion ah. upon uh, the section they were found to contain uh, sensory organs uh, primarily related to smell and hearing in some specimens these tendrils were rudimentary and barely reached one inch in length in others were more they were more fully developed to up to a foot long Ooh, cool all right captain's key I was waiting for that I like the way you can like blast your way or punch your way out of your prison, dude. But I can shoot through it with bullets. Nothing on the frozen stiff except the keys to his quarters. Well, I'll head there next. If the codes for the autopilot aren't on him, that's yeah. the best place to look. Just don't rush Ooh. over there. Oh ho ho! Nice. Toasted. Mm-mm. I like my mutants roasted. Mm-hmm. Damn straight. Yeah, I wanted to have a little look in here, because there's some weird voodoo going on in here. Are you dead? This whaler's dead. Alright, ammo for the AK, that's good. I mean, ammo is not a problem in this game at all, is it, really? Now all I can think about is that we're whalers on the moon. We carry a harpoon, but there were no whales, so tell tall tales. Oh, I miss Future Armor so much. Man, the golden age of cartoons. What happened to the golden age of cartoons? I mean, I can't say too much because I have just started watching Paradise PD. And, oh my god, Paradise PD, how have I never known about this before? Right, let's get back out of here, shall we? The AK does render the handgun obsolete, I would say. For sure. Alright, we're clear. We're clear. Uh, how do I do that? Right, so... Ah, that's how you hold on to shit. Right, that's now working. That Remember, that didn't work before? Good stuff. Okay. Yeah, that was one of the bugs that we had before. The... Uh... Oh. Evening sunshine. What did you have in your little hidey hole? Yeah, that's what I thought, bitch. Give me some bullets. Oh, you had nothing in here, dude. Nothing. Like, what did you do all day? Honestly. All right, let's go to the med lab and grab some health. I do find this an interesting concept that there's like one area where you can get a lot of healing supplies and there was one area where we could basically get unlimited ammo it's interesting i like it yes sir i like this game actually kind of knew that was gonna happen kind of i was expecting it to come from behind me but okay let's have a look in the captain's quarters well, this is nice. Very nice. I like what you've done with the place. To be honest. Mmm. Okay, that looks like a little hidden door. Right, what have we got here? Let's have some light reading. Anna, 
I've got the code to unlock the autopilot. Go ahead. Three, te, five, L. Got that? It's working. I'm putting in the coordinates for the drill. Right, Alright, you do that. Now. You do that, Anna. So now we're going back to her, I suppose. We can go outside, or we can. Oh. Whoa, Anna, getting a little rough there. Hang on, the... I'll meet you at the pilot house. No, it's not safe. Look, the seas are too rough for us to duck with the oil rig, yes? What are you getting at? The only way we can get on board is to climb up to the crow's nest and then <laughs> jump when we get close. Oh, crap. We're going to hit the platform, aren't we? That would make jumping easier, won't it? <laughs> You're out of your mind, woman! You um, have a better idea? Shit. Uh, I'll see you in the crow's nest. Uh, uh, <clears throat> yeah, she's a little bit nuts, and uh, <clears throat> I look, you kind of like it. Well, this is going to get interesting, isn't it, guys? We're going to save it, and I am going to stop this video here because I don't know how long I've I've been recording for. I'm going to go set up another timing device. Oh boy! So we're in a storm. We're on a whaler that's infested with XSL mutant zombie bastards. And we are going to climb up to a close, uh, close nest, a crow's nest, and we're going to physically jump from the crow's nest onto an oil rig. Cool. Thanks for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.